G'day, Steve here, Woodworking Masterclass. Um, I've got a, I'm, I'm off instruments for a little bit. I've just had a, a chair come in that they want me to restore the frame or actually totally rebuild the frame. It's a 1960s, um, if you're in Australia, it's a Don Rex or that style of chair, Scandinavian chair is another word for them. I had a look online, I couldn't believe it. there was one online for $2,600. I'm going, my goodness, <laughs> I'm in the wrong direction. I should be building chairs. Actually, I used to make chairs. My number plate once was chairs. And I tried to get my business partner to get his number plate saying table so we could park it out the front, tables and chairs. But I just had chairs. All right, so. I've just got to get the chat up on this, if I can work it out. Is that working? That's working. Well, most likely you're going to be horrible internet today. Always happens when school holidays are on. So I'm just looking down here because I'm trying to find out if I'm live. Everything's looking as if I'm live. There we go. All right. Now, how do we get chat out of here? I should work this out one of these days. Um, I would like to remind people, I've had um, a couple of comments saying it's very rude of me to be working on my phone or looking at my phone while I'm streaming. Well, the truth is, I am trying to get chat on my phone I so I can um, catch up with the chat while I'm streaming. Let's get right oh, here. We go, Max. Good day, mate. Good day, Jeff. Bunny of the rubble, mate. I'm well. I hope you're well too. Oh, now just I've got a new girl in the shed because the other chooks have been picking on her. They have been giving her a horrible time. Her name's Marge, and she looks worse for wear. I'll tell you the story about Marge in a minute. Hang on, this. Where are we? Uh. Oh, you can never find the levers when you want them, can you? There you go. That's March. And as you can tell, the other chooks have given her a bit of hurry up. If she turned around, she's got no feathers on her back. And most of the feathers around her neck have gone. But she's a good little girl. And her name's Marge. And luckily... Oh, you, so you didn't see any of that. There you go, that's Marge. They've given her a heck of a hard time. Haven't they, darling? So she's decided, but it's, it really amazes me. She's got so much pride in herself. She still preens herself, even though all the feathers have gone off her back. And she's got peck marks, although I did notice a couple of new feathers coming up the other day, so she might be coming good. But she's decided the toilet in uh, my front shed is where she wants to be. So I've made her a little nest in there and she gets um, room service and she still lays me an egg every two days. She's an absolute trooper, don't you? No, she doesn't care. She's just cleaning herself. Anyway, that's it. Um, what have we got? Jared, g'day mate, g'day Louise. G'day Vince, everybody's in. Now, if we can turn this, I wonder if I can get pop out chat there. There you go. That's chat. There you go. Well, there's a better shot of her back. There you go. That's how badly. <laughs> Poor little girl's been beaten up. But she doesn't care. And, and, and she's worked out <laughs> by staying in the toot up in the, the top shed. I leave the door open for her. Um, she gets out and she comes up to the house to get bread and to get treats before the other ones are let out of their cage. And normally when I'm in the front shed, She'll um, come in and just sit by me if I'm using the wood lathe or the metal lathe. But today she's decided, no, she's going to come down here because she's safe down here. She doesn't get picked on. All right. And I'm, I'm sure many of us can relate to being bullied. I know I was. I hated it. There's nothing you could do about it. Ah, and if you fought back, you were in trouble and the bully was a victim. Yeah, right. Anyway, won't go there. What have we got? Um, you know, da -dum, there you go. Everything's good. This old chair here. What are you doing? She's still cleaning herself. Um, it's a 1960s slash 
70s, what they call a TV chair. And it just went back like that. There's a spring was meant to go on the back here. And you just laid back and watched TV. So I don't have to redo the frame, the metal frame. Um, although, although what I'm thinking of doing is I might even take a template of this and might knock a couple out for ourselves, for us, us old people. We can go and sit on the veranda then and watch the crows. Um, so yeah, I've got to pull this one apart. So let's get into it. Max, uh, made need to into this. No, she's good. She hasn't got any um, lice or anything like that. It's just the other chooks have beaten the absolute crap out of her. They, they get on her back and hold her down and peck around her neck. And then when they've got her down, I've seen them actually cut the wing, the, the feathers on a wing. They just snap them. Oh, horrible, horrible. All right, let's go. Uh, so I've got to undo this and let's see if I can give you a bit of a better picture of what's going on. Here we go, we'll go there, and we'll go there. And, and look, the shed's reasonably tidy. Unreal! It took me two days to do it. Ugh. So I don't know how all this goes together, and I don't know if I'm going to get it apart. But we will work on it. Well and truly in there, I've got some RP7 here. Inox is better, but... Well, I don't know if it's better, but I prefer it. Put it that way. But it's all up in the top shed. So what we'll do, we'll just give that a good spray of the old RP7. And whilst that's about that, we might pull some of these other parts off it. Not ideal to have lubricant on the workbench, is it? Okay. Phillips head screws. Whoop, go here. Out of the way, Tonto. Now, I don't know if this is how it was put together. I don't think they had Phillips head screws in those days. But we will persevere and see what we can do. I'm thinking with this, um, I don't know whether to put dowels in it. Oh, brass screws. How's that? You can tell that it's coming out green. There you go, I'll keep that one. I saw some brass screws. Oh, I can look in that camera now, can I? I saw some, look at that, yum. Um, brass screws the other day because someone wanted some for a job. I've got them, but I'm not giving mine away because I want them. Um, and on the internet, they were selling brass screws I should have a better, get a bigger one. They were selling brass screws for $5 each. $5 each. Oh, I didn't number. Three screws. Oh, that'd be right, wouldn't it? Oh. Yeah, if it doesn't work, put a bigger screw in it. Oh, what a bigger screw to no, okay. That might have to be a hatchet job. The good things when you get jobs like this, you can't wreck them because they're already wrecked. But I'm hoping if I can pull it apart, then I can use the um, bits of timber as templates. That's a steel one. So now I'd, I'd just say this has been fixed up. Uh, what are we looking at? 
where you're looking for is 60 years old, at least between 50 and 60 years old. And as you can tell, it's been out in the weather it had. So I really don't know what the construction is of this, whether it's mortise and tenons, whether it's um, dowels. I don't think it would have been butt joints because they used to have a bit of pride in their work back then. <laughs> and they, did, they didn't use screws like that, put chairs together. Not in my day. Okay. So, okay, so there's more than 10 minutes, all right. Look at that. She's just sitting there. She's having a sleep. She's having a snooze now. Must feel nice not to have the pressure of <coughs> constantly be getting beaten up. <laughs> have a go! Whoa! Have a go at the length of that one. <laughs> We're <laughs> talking serious restoration work going on here. Oh uh, dear. All right, now. That comes out of there, that comes out of there. I wonder if that'll come out of there. There you go. That can come out of there. So hopefully I should be able to pull that one out. No, it's not gonna come, is it? Why would it? Why would it want to make my life easy? All right, let me just. Spin it around this way. Just don't knock me iced coffee over because I'm enjoying that. Oh. Okay. If I get many more brass screws, I'm going to have to have to give them money back. And they want it done, out, did I mention that? They wanted it rebuilt out of silky oak. So I've got a lot of silky oak offcuts. It's not one of my favorite timbers to use. I know you either like it or you hate it. And I've got a mixture there of Northern Silky, which is Cardwellia sublimus, and Southern Silky, which is Cardwillia, Cardwillia Robusta. Uh, I guess Cardwillia is the Latin designation for Rosewood. There we go. She's snoring. I can, <laughs> I can hear her snoring. Okay. All right. <whistles> now you go away, you leave her alone. I've got my doors open. Black chooks just come in. Focus off of her. Look at her. She's happy. No. Where's that? She's over near the drill press. Now, black ones aren't too bad, actually. I, th I think it's, there's another Isa Brown um, that gives her a really hard time. There we go. That's what I'm wanting. I 
I don't know if I'm going to get this one out either. Oh. Oh, no. No, we, we could have a win. Look at that. Well, those repairs, I don't reckon they made any later than the 80s because you don't get nice brass screws like that anymore. Okay. Oh, gee whiz. I'll have a chat as soon as I get this one out. Isn't it funny how you buy stuff back on the musical instruments? I was buying, um, it wasn't buying, I bought some planes 10 years ago, little squirrel tail planes, because I wanted to make arch top guitars, which I never did. And I thought, oh, well, that was a waste, I'm never going to use those. And guess what? Now I'm using them. It's good, isn't it? See, nothing's wasted. To buy it today, it cost me twice as much. Hmm. Okay. I think, I think, ladies and gentlemen, we are having a bit of a win here. Bit of a win. There you go. And that looks like it's got two in there. If I can get this off, I'll be only happy with the knockometer. Where's the thumper? Oh, look at that. See? Mm. It's starting to happen. Now, that one there, I don't know. Oh, look at that. RP7 does its job. Excellent. There you go. All right. Well, that's what I need. One side. So, I'll finish pulling that to bits. Let's have a chin wag. Ah, uh, do 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 Ah, I'm at work pretending to be on holidays. Mate, that's what I do. People say, what do you do for work? Oh, do stuff in the shed. What do you do in your spare time? Do stuff in the shed. Ah, oh, what's the difference? Well, I suppose work is jobs I don't want to do. Ah, uh, Max, I know the feeling. My yeah, Max, I can identify, mate. Uh, I, well, we found that these are mortars and tenons, I think. So that's okay. They're not even scented mortars and tenons. But that's all right. Andy, good morning. All right. Now, what I'm going to do with this. Um, because I've got some half inch steel up in the head, I'm actually going to. Uh, whoop, sorry, I just go back to sleep. I'm actually going to make a new frame, but I most likely won't put it on this chair because they're not asking me to do that. And uh, I wouldn't mind, as I said before, I wouldn't mind making a couple for myself. So that's it. And this this bit here, these springs. Seem okay, except that one's broken off. So what I'll do is I'll put a bit of heat into that uh, map gun or something or other, and 
um, then pull it out and then turn it over and that's the spring that goes onto the back of the chair, which I'll show you in a minute, with a little eyelet so it uh, self-centers again when you get up. So, there, I mean, there's nothing too hard about that construction. Bit of welding, bit of bending. We have the technology. Oh, is that Builder Bob? Yes, we can. Oh, all right. Bob the Builder, that's it. Bob the Builder, eh? Anthony, my, those of you, my um, eldest grandson, his favourite thing, whenever he'd break anything, he'd, he'd go to Nan and say, it's all right, Papa can fix. Yeah, Papa can fix. And now I'm trying to teach him all the stuff that Papa can fix and not interested. No, I'm going to play a game. You agree on you? Oh, dear. Well, I must admit, Anthony was good the other day. The dishwasher went a bit gaga, and um, I didn't know what was going on. But we still, so, oh no, yeah. Um, and he said, oh, I just, I said, well, how do I reset it? And the dishwasher's next to the sink. So the plug was under the sink, and then I looked really, really close. And on the start button, in small, small, small print, reset, press for four seconds. And I did that and reset. So Antoine, you're a good lad, thank you. Now, I don't really want to use my good chisel on that. Oh, his old butt chisel. This will do, this will do just fine. There we go. I'll give you a tap -a down there. Screws in there. Well, that <laughs> those screws really didn't do much good, did they? Have a look at that. They missed the tenon totally. Okay. That's the um, little eyelet in the back that I said that spring goes onto. So we might even spring for a new one of those. Who knows? Okay. Now. I was going to say, are the armrests, are they doweled on? Nah, they're screwed on. So, let's pop her in here and we'll have a go at unscrewing it. Mind you, it's done well, it's got little collars on it, which I'll show you in a tick. The great thing about restoration work, especially in this condition, it can only go back better. Oh, I can't even. So what sort of screw that is? Oh, that's a, a slight head. Should I thump it with a cold chisel? I think I'll, I'll get a bit of a turn in, I think. <sighs> Bring out the heavy artillery. Here we go. These are great, great for ruining jobs. 
<sighs> not gonna work. We'll try it this way then. Aha. Here we go. of the slot left. I don't know why I even bother. You reckon I could get it with a pair of pliers? And here we go. Okay. Oh. Now, if 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 this was good and I was keeping it, what I would do would be put a block of wood there. But I'm not, so it doesn't really matter. We'll just give it a bit of a smack. Pull that apart there. This has still got a couple of screws in it, so we'll see if we can get that out. Mm. Where are they? Right there. <sighs> no. Smaller one. Here we go. There we go, dude. There we go. Dunsky. All right, I tell you what, it's a nice brass screws in amongst that lot. Okay, that's what we've got. So we've got, that's an arm. That's a, it's a bottom. 
Where's the other bit? Okay, that's that's the back leg. Well, we might just mark it. Oh, I know. Back leg. Arm rest. So, I mean, this one's got to be a front leg, doesn't it? Front leg. Rail. And this is going to be the front rail. Where'd the back rail go? So now let me check that. I'll work out which is the front, which is the back. In a minute. Let me have a chin wag. Oh, where are we out there? Brenda, g'day! So, sorry, I just woke me little girl up. For those of you who don't know, I've got... He picked on little Chook here. She's decided it's much safer to be in here with Dad. There you go, you can see a bare little back where they've... The other Chooks have plucked all the feathers out. But she's happy in here, so that's the main thing. Oh, uh, where are we up to? Uh, Andy just came in when I was talking before. Good morning, Andy. How are you? Morning, morning, morning. By old hand, uh, hi, good morning. Good morning to everyone. Uh, won't those springs of the chair be a bit soft? Uh, I don't know. They Actually, I don't know if they've been galvanised or they're actually wet. But that... Quite, hang on, I'm just going off camera. No, I think they're going to be all right. I don't know where you'd buy the springs from. Um, perhaps things might have them, but that isn't my concern. All my concern is to make a new frame. The other thing I'd be tempted to do would be put elastic webbing. You know, that two inch or 50 mil webbing that you can interwife. Well, into Interweave, interweave. And once, it's, once you've done the interweave, it's then been interwoven. So there you go. Oh, dear. G'day, John, how are you? Or I'll say it again. G'day, John, how are you? Dreadnought. Done this all my life from small engine building houses. We need people to build houses. We, do, we need people to use their hands, Dreadnought. That's, that's the whole... Box and dice. We need people to use their hands. I want to learn new stuff and do loads, but it's cold and I have a serious condition. <laughs> ah, that gets us all, Andy. That gets us all. Hi, Brenda. I've said, Get up. Hey, Trevor, I've got a bug. How come you put down, spend a lovely day watching Theo the wood turner on record power doing some wood turn. Do you ever put spend a lovely day seeing Steve Hayes? No, no, I'm telling Liz on you, you can go stand in the corner with one thong. How are you, mate? I hope you're well. Uh, all right. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, what am I doing? I've got, <laughs> I've got to work this out. See, Trad, you threw me off. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Da -da -de -de -de. No, I haven't changed my, my work ethic by putting stuff away, but I have found it's easier if I can keep my bench a bit cleaner. There you go. 68 years old and I'm still learning. I learned if I keep my shed tidier, it's easy to work. And I'm not going to change a habit of a lifetime. Talking to someone about that the other day. Oh, your shed's a mess. Yeah, but I don't know how many hours. I was talking to another friend of mine, won't mention his name. Um, just in case he doesn't think he's a friend. <laughs> and, and we were saying, when you've got a job on, you just got to go. And your mind, it, it, especially if it's not a spec job, if it's a spec job off plans, yeah, you can sort of go away and come back and where you're up to is on the plans. But when you're doing stuff, I build stuff, it's just in my head, and it builds as I go. Um, I can't stop. 
and say, oh, I'm going to tidy all that up, oh, I'll put that away. And then I'll come back and go, oh, where was I at? It was like I've, I've written a couple of books, not on woodwork, but other things. And um, when, you, when you're writing, you're just in the zone. My dad was an author and uh, he wrote some pretty famous stuff and he launched a few careers. Um, but when you get an interruption, oh, could you move the car all of a sudden, wherever you were in, in your story, that's it. All the characters just go, poof, and you've got to come back and go, oh, where did I get up to? Oh, what was going to happen? Another interesting thing, I'm digressing on that, but with a story, the story is not a story that's been written. The story actually is what's left after you've discounted all the other ideas. There you go, that's, that's food for thought, that's deep. Isn't it? That's, that's a Sunday or a Monday, deep, deep meaningful, philosophical idea. Um, okay, so we got... <clears throat> got to go splay out at the back, so that means I cook it out that way. That's the front leg, so that goes that way. That's the uh, back one, so that goes that way, okay, and then that goes, and these were all done with machines, slot mortises. I actually do have one, <clears throat> but I think I'll do this I don't know how I'll do this. That one's a bit tricky, or has that got a little bit, oh no, that's alright, that's got something. Let me get that out. Um, what I think I'll do this one with is a combination of the magic R word and a drill press, I think. I'm just going to, I'll show you. In here, it looks as if it's the mortise is on an angle there, but it's not. The bit's just broken off, so I'm just going to, just going to see if I can get that out. And there it is. <laughs> Reminds me of Susie, she went to the dentist the other day and the tooth shattered. There you go. And there we are. All right. So now what I want to do is get some of this stuff and we'll see how much I've got and what I've got and what I can use and what I can't use and what I need and what I don't need. Oh. This is just, um, I've got a whole lot of dribs and drabs of silky. So, some of it's just, it really has got beautiful grain on it, but it's all a bit, yeah. So, let's see what we got and what we can do. It's great to make something out of what otherwise would be scrap. There's a bit of southern silky in here as well as northern silky. So we will see. Get a pencil. Okie dokie. Saw some north stuff come in. Barney, give United Fasteners a call, Steve, you'll... Oh, okay. Oh, now you tell me. I had to make some the other day. I didn't use wing nuts. I fabricated something else, but I'll, I'll keep that. Jeff, thanks, mate. Uh, finish your... <laughs> no, I'm just starting. Oh, dear. Oh, every, every tool in my shed's got a home to go to, Vince. Doesn't mean to say, get it there. I have a friend come over quite regularly. He's away at the moment. But 
Um, I was cleaning up and he was, he doesn't like being on camera, so he was out of shot. And I was picking stuff up and just putting it in the wall, putting it in their little, you know, on their shadow boards or wherever they go. And I looked at him, he had this weird look in his face. I said, you're impressed, aren't you? He said, quite frankly, I am. <laughs> All right, now, oh, this looks like a nice piece. Look at that. I'll get that out of there. I've got a big split there, so that's no good. But I might get, will I get two? Will I get two? Oh, wouldn't that rip your shorts off? Okay, well, we got one there anyway. How big is that split, I wonder? It might not go all the way through. Depending how far it goes, we'll have a leg there. Let's put that down here. Uh, um, okay, so we can have that. Although, if I... Oh, look at that. Look at that. That will work. So what I've done, I'm hoping it doesn't turn on me, but where I've got that split here, if I line that up with that taper I should miss that split and if there's just a little bit of it there that's all right we might be able to fix it and in fact if I put that on the that was the inside if I put that on the inside we might miss that so that's taking care of two legs what I might do I don't know um, Yeah, let's have a look at that. Okay, so that. That might do that okay. So that's one side. Let's have a look, see if we're just a bit short. That's all right, that's another one there. And one more leg. If I can, I want the same grain. Yeah, that's pretty close. Okay. All right. That's the four legs. So they're out of the way. Now I want two side rails. I'd love to get an arm out of that. That is spectacular. It's got really nice colour in that. So. Oh, let me have a look. What else have we got over here? Oh, yeah, baby. I like that too. Although, 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 that's very nice as well. This has got absolutely gorgeous figure in that. That is exquisite. I'm not sure how far that goes in. But I doubt if I'd get an arm out of that, so we might leave that. That could be a box later on. This is quite nice. And good medullaries on that side. So, can I get two out of that? Wouldn't that annoy you? Very close, but no cigar. Well, that being the case, we might have to do this. Oh no, I reckon I can get away with that. It depends how far this inclusion goes in here. But I might just be able to, I'll run that over the saw shortly and we'll, we will have a bow peep. Um, and that could be that and that could be that. Okay, that's, that can be the two R. Now, two side rails. Yep, they could be that and that. What I'm trying to do is match the, the grains on the, the same pieces. 
So that's two side rails. And then that can be a back. And that can be a front. Here's the back. There you go. And there's a front. And that beautiful bit there. I don't know what it's going to come down to. Oh. I'd like to do it at 22 mil. Because that's what furniture in the good old days used to be. 7 eighths. And it just, you have a look at some of the old Victorian and Georgian stuff. It's 7 eighths. It's just got a bit of presence about it. It's not, oh, I was made to a budget. No, actually, I'm going to have that. No, I tried that. I can't get the arms out of that, can I? All right, well, it's going to be box material. All right, Marge. What else have I got here? Um, let's take a look at these two bits here. No, that's not going to do it. So... No, I think that should... That should do us. To do it. You're going outside. Something I, I didn't know I had. Looking for my silk yoke, nice bit of black heart sassafras. Use that for something, might make a nice box out of that or something. Down the track. All right, so. What I've got to do. I might actually. make some templates of these. Uh, we'll do that on MDF. Then I can use them at a later stage if I ever want to build them again. Uh, Where are we? Have I finished my rant? Yes. As for Mate, you're a braver man than me. I don't like big cities. I don't care even if it's got three shops in it. <laughs> yeah, you're quick, Andy. See what happens when you haven't got a music stand to pick on me for? You can get into the other. I love that. Oh, you lend them out, Vince. Yeah, it's like lending money to your kids. You might as well give it to them. The chances of getting the back's the same, but you feel better. Save your chicken. Uh, what is it? Steve, your chicken is just as lazy as my cat. She does not. <laughs> ah, but does your cat lay eggs? <laughs> oh, that's poor old thing. Where is she? Oh, she's down here. Look at that. Hey. We're going ball together, aren't we, girl? Hey, going ball together. I bet you, I bet you I'll go up to her nest and there'll be an egg in there. She is good. All right. Um, I'll just go to the truck, which is just outside, and I'll grab a thick piece of MDF. And, oh, we'll play with that. It's lovely out here. Could do with some rain though, it's starting to get a bit brown on the ground. Can't bring a camera out here. I, I should set up my um, chest cam. <laughs> you could come out and we could have a chest cam. Oh, uh, I'm lucky I've got a mate that's got a, a um, cabinet shop. And I'll just go down and get the cover sheets, which are really, really handy to have. Here we go. All right. Now, I'll do this 
things without knocking my control panel everywhere. This will be the first one. I know I put that straight over the top of the pencil I was going to use, didn't I? Here we go. So, we'll go there. And we'll go there. Um. If you get jobs in and you like it, it really is a good idea just to take a template of it and then um, you can have it. And if you never use it, well, you haven't really lost much. But then if someone goes, oh, yeah, you know those um, things, I'd love one of those. And you go, oh, yeah, I can do that. Um, 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 um. Okay. I'm missing, I'm missing, missing, missing the back panel. Oh, here we go, here we go, is it? No. One, two, three. Oh, no, it doesn't have a, does it? Yeah, it does have a back panel. It's got those blocks on it. Where did I put it? Uh, what's this one? Side rail. Side rail, back leg, uh, front leg, front rail. Okay, now I've just got to find the back rail. <clears throat> Anyone see what I did with that? I can work on those at the moment. All right, so we'll go over to the um, bandsaw and Trevor's spoiled every day of the year. Don't worry about Christmas, Max. Yeah, I, I think I think that that is that is what should happen. Trying to register. I I oh there it is. I've had it happen to myself, and I know it's happened to other people as well. Someone will come and borrow a tool. Four years later, you go, who's got that? And you go around and say, oh, can I borrow that? And then they want it back, and you say, hang on, wait a minute, no, it was mine to start with. No, no, it wasn't. Aunt Mildred gave me that. Oh no. Yeah, right. No, I don't even like people using mine. You know, they go, oh, can I just come over and use your saw or your thickness? Sir? No, come over, bring the job, I'll do it for you, but you're not using it. Because no one treats your gear as nice as you do. All right, now, if I can find a jigsaw, I'll saw that out. And if I can't, I'll have to answer it. Oh dear. Yeah, good on you. Got a, <laughs> got a jigsaw, but it's got a 
metal cutting blade in it. Where's the other jigsaw? Jigsaw's all over the flipping place. Oh, that one could be in the timber shed. Look, by the time I mess around and look for it, I might as well just cut it. Hey, saves a lot of grief. It is only MDF. makes life a lot easier. There you go. That's good. Go on, here you go. So, now I'll knock over to the bandsaw and I will cut those up.
Bum ba da bum bum. Now this one, I don't know, might, 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 might have to make another one for that. We'll get these ones done first. And what we'll do is... This is the timber that I want. I'll put that in there. <clears throat> oh. Now, that appears to be straight, I think. So that isn't an issue, that one we can do on the table saw straight away. The front, what are we on? The front rail, and here we see. <laughs> That's good Andy, I like that, yeah. I was told never to lend any to anyone that you wouldn't give them. Vince, yes, I know. I know the feeling. Um, front rail. I might just shoot that. Front rail and side rail. I might just go and shoot both of those on the side. I reckon the back rail too. That. All right. I've just got to go play I spy. I've just got to go over and shoot these over the jointer and um, it's really only the legs that I'm going to have to route. The rest of them, they just look like straight bits of timber. So I've got two sides, front and back, and an arm. So that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. So I'm back in a tick. You can hear the machine going. All right. Hello. Black Chook's just come in. Um, that's got straight, that's straight. All right, so what I can do is 
front rail. Here's the front one. Actually, that might be the same. Oh, look at that. Front and back are exactly the same. I tell you what, it's had a bit of wear where the springs have been digging in. Ah, it's all good. Okay, so let's go over to the table saw. We'll set these up. Side rail, front and back rail. Uh, that one. Let's see if I can get that out. Ooh. Oh, actually, I should have some. Best things ever invented, these. The old vice grips. Great for getting the screws out. If you can. Mm. Now, I need a smaller pair and a smaller pair up in the other shed. Oops. Starting to come. Ah. Here we go. Here we go. So well, this is going clean through the Tasmania, this one. It wasn't going to come off in a hurry. Yeah, the size of it. <laughs> okay. Perhaps I should just put a couple of dozen of these in. Might, might do the trick. Oh, all right. Let me just see if I can get that one out there. And then we got them all out. I know this is sacrilege to Vince, but at least it's not a chisel. I would prefer a cold chisel. Here we go. Oh. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha. There we go. Oh. The reason I did that is because I didn't want it scratching my um, table saw, which we will go over to very shortly. I tell you what, these are pretty pretty close to being all the same. All right, let's go over to the table saw, which is over there. And I'm going to rip these to that width. Mm. Now we've got, we've got enough legs to get you over there. Let's have a seat. Possibly, possibly. 
Find me new nut and bolt things going up on the wall. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm hoping. Six hundred. That's six hundred. Okay. Move it to there. That's close enough for me. Oh dear. Got to get in there and clean that out. It's a worm and drive. Okay, so that's the arm. Let's do the arm. Side rail. Oh, back rail. Side rail is a matter of it, I think. Front rail and back rail. No, no, stay there. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Here we go. Just before you get all carried away. There's my beautiful granddaughter. And mum. Say hello to the world. Say hello, Muddy. Say hello. No, I had enough. Don't want to be in there. There you go. Oh, dear, oh, dear. So that's it. That's the only visits I get. People come in and they go. And the truck was sitting down there. And then, the, uh, anyway. It's all good. I like your dress, Maddie. All right, I'm going to drop that off. And we'll dock that one there. Um, and um, front and back rail. Um, We'll square that, I think. That's not quite square, so we'll square it. And have enough in there, we'll knock that off. So I've got to dock that, dock that. Do it properly, hadn't I? That there. So now what? Um, oh, we've got a slope on this one. So we'll dock that off there. I think that's going to be. No, it's not going to be straight. That can go there. And then we 
he's got. Uh, oh, yeah, hang on. Could be all right. Could be all right. I was just wondering how I was going to get that angle because I had my bevel up at the other workshop. But then I remembered I've got more than one sliding bevel. I can go there. Okie dokie, and we'll make those tenons, that goes there, and that goes there, and that's from there to there. Um, I'm going to worry about that later on. And the back one. Just mark the tenons in there so we know what we're doing. And if you can, try and keep them all uniformed. Makes it much easier later on. Okay, so let me just go and chop those off. Hey, you had a spotlight, $40 for 60 drawers. Couldn't knock it back. That wasn't Susie, that was um, my son's partner. But, but I'll tell her you think she looks like Sue. Uh, where are we up to? With you lot have been busy. Oh. I'll sit down and have a read. Mmm. <laughs> oh. Where did we up there? Brenda came in. Yeah, I've seen that. <sighs> Here we go. Got up to where Vince's father in law. Abuse his chisels. Okay. <laughs> You're on fire today, Andy. I reckon they just should come in IVs, bottles of wine. Just, whoop, no, go away. Hang on, oh, it's me son. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I've just got to have a quick... If I can do that. 
Did I do it? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, I don't know. You might have. Oh, you're live, mate. You're live. Oh, shit. Oh, I don't know how to swear. I'll give you a call back. Or is it something urgent? No, I just wanted to ask you about Mum's Chrissy present. Oh, here we go. Here we go. You can ask the world. What's the Chrissy present? Oh, I'm going to get her a... Uh, what I was... Oh, I was thinking what you think. I was going to get her a Polaroid camera. A Polaroid camera? Yeah, you know, she loves her happy snaps. Yeah, I don't think she'd be up for spending the money on film. No, I'm going to get her a shitload of film as well. Oh, all right, you go for it. All right, then. I'll speak to you later. All right. Love you, darling. I love you, Bert. See ya. How do you turn that off? Well, providing she doesn't watch the stream, she won't know what she's getting, will she? Oh, dear. Um, now, where did I get up to? Um... Plain old woodworking. G'day, Steve. Uh, glad to catch you. Again. Oh, it's lovely to be caught again. Uh, gum, mate, I use gum boots whenever it's raining down the chook pen. Good pens are, yeah, they're good. Andy, thanks for asking. Yep, I told you about the good news we had from the neurosurgeon. Everything's good there. Um, Dreadnought, you don't want to hear the story about taking a newbie out fishing boat and got hit by a shark down there. Oh, no. <laughs> That'd put you off fishing, wouldn't it? It really would. Hang on, let's see if I can get that where we are. There we go. All right, so now I've done this, um, get the bits of wood that I've marked out. Would have been really handy if I'd written what I was going to do with each one, wouldn't it? And then we can go and cut them to size. I'm pretty sure that was, a, that was an arm and that was an arm. So what I might do this funky bit here. I thought, um, yeah, we might cut that and see how far, if it comes through to the back, it's not going to be any good. So we might go to the saw and give that a shot. And the same with this bit, I think. So that's going to be the arms. And then that's going to be a rail for memory. And... Oh, that's going to be a rail. Jeez, I'll tell you what, we just, just got a bit in. Oh, it's a bit horrid there, but uh, that might plane out, so that, that could be okay. Being inundated with chalks now. Um... That could be the front and back. Oh, mark it. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Back. Front. Two arms. Now the legs. From memory, I was going to get... See if I could get two legs out of that. Which would be good. And then... Two legs out of that. All right, so legs. Okay, so they're the legs. Put those over there, we'll do those in a tick. So these were front and back, they're the rails. Can rip those. Uh, 
It's really easy to do drop in, isn't it? There are they. No, they're cam camera shy, they're not staying. Um, two side rails. There's two Okay, where's another side rail? That must be could be that one, is it? Rail. Okay. That'll just get that one. That'll get that one. Let's go over to the saw and we'll rip these up. And dock them. Might do the length first. Um, front and back. We can dock. Leave a little bit oversized when you're docking, I do. Just in case you get some snipe or a bit of problem you can want. Um, these are the side rails, that's all right. That one's all right. legs and this is the back now I'll just rip these up to width They've been actually shot on each side, so they're good to go. They just haven't been machined down the sides, but I can do that later. Now that long one, I was going to get the arm out of. No, it's going to get legs out of that, wasn't it? All right. Okay, so that's got two rails and a front and a back. Can go there. Uh, 
Uh, two rails front and the back that can go there. Arms, I've got to, these are the arms, so I've got to rip those. We'll rip this one first, just see how bad that inclusion is. And um, we'll go from there. If I can get away with it, I'm going to be happy. I'll just go out with this, I'll be back. Hello! Out the way, Marge. Come on. There's a good girl. shot that side so I can rip this side off and we'll see how badly it looks. That actually isn't too bad. I think I can get away with that. So that's going to be a good one. And hopefully so is this one. So there are the two arms. Now the legs. We will see. be able to get two out of this one piece. Let me have a look. Yeah, I can actually get two out of this one piece of wood, so hopefully the other bit that I cut I can get two out of it. Oh! So this one, I go there and there, and we go there, there, 
And there. So I said it, it's nice if you can make something that's not out of wood you have to buy per se for the job. It's just stuff you had lying around. I've got a couple of silky oak trees or trunks in the yard. I've got to cut up. They've been out there for about three years, so they should be dry enough now. Just rip that on the saw. On the bandsaw. Where are we? Here we go. can be. Whew. That's going to be very close, I think. Yeah, no, I reckon we'll do that. Nothing like a bit of old school, only because I'm too lazy to go over to the soil. Scoot that over the winter and then we'll have a cut and we'll see if we can get away with that too. Doesn't matter which one we use, is it? I think they. They're the same leg. Very clever. Ah, okay. No guarantee what I'm going to do is I'll cut down there on the uh, bandsaw. And we've got a clean bit of timber there, or if it's going to be fractured. If it's fractured, I'll just use another bit of timber. But if it's not, I'm in front of the game.
I think we dodged a bullet. Pretty clean in there. Ah. All right. So, what we've done is taken a chair that was totally no good. Um, I went out to the timber shed and grabbed some timber that was, well, I won't say totally no good, but it, it, didn't, it wasn't enough to build something reasonable out of, and it was all offcuts and manky bits and what have you that I've machined up. So we've, we've saved that from going in the bin. We've saved the chair from going in the bin. Now what I've got to do is machine it all down the thickness, which unfortunately I can't stream because it's in there, and I can barely get in there myself, and I haven't got a camera lead long enough to do it but uh, what I'll do I'll go ahead and do that depending on oh, I might even stream again this afternoon if not I'll stream tomorrow and it should be ready to put together so there you go let me catch up on chit chat Yeah, you can't tell, can you, Trevor? Sometimes things happen. I just read that with your was it sister's sister's in-laws, brother. Right, oh? No. Yeah, I agree, Dead Nort. <laughs> Diabolical situations that can happen. Yeah, I, I thankfully mine don't go all the way over me bench, Trevor. Especially the goose, oh, she, she needs a skip. She needs a, a, what do you call it? A bobcat following her. Oh. Actually, Dreadnought, I'll show you a trick. All right, this is a trick. Well, it's not a trick, it's a habit that I've been in 30 years and a lot of people I do have push sticks and if I deem it's a risk I will use a push stick but there is a very good technique that allows you to cut safely well I think it allows you to cut safely anyway you've got an edge on this here now, when I'm pushing a bit of timber through, I'll have this finger or this finger on the edge or, you know, like that. So I know that that is locked up against the side of the fence and I feel fairly confident. If I were doing a cut and it was there, there is no way in the world I would put my finger on there. If I'm here... I'm far enough away from the blade, providing my fingers locked on here, I know that I'm safe. But, you know, push sticks, uh, whatever these things are called, what are they called? Grippers, yep, they're all great things. Um, and I do use them a lot now, I don't know how I've got that on there. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to be half an hour trying to get my gripper back on the wall now. Yeah, I'll work it out later on. But yeah, I always have a guide have my on the inside of that. I wouldn't be doing that. No way in the world. But when you're in there, you know that you're locked in. Anyway, that's not a safety tip. That's just a syncratic thing that I do. But I really think, yes, you're right, Dreadnought. You should be using push sticks. And if you start the day with 10 fingers and you end the day with 10 fingers, you have a day. Doesn't matter how many bits of timber goes, Tada. Did you, did I have that? I don't know if you saw that. Did you see it? I can't remember if I turned it back or not. Again, just in case I didn't have it on the right way. Oh, no, I did. I come back and changed it. It's all right. Oh. All right, see if I can get chat up again. Where's chat? I've lost it. Uh, uh, hey, Crash Studio, how are you? Uh, 
Um, oh, let me see. You should go to bed soon too. Jared, catch you later, mate. Thanks for dropping in. All right, that's it for me too, I think. Um, so what we've done, utilised all the stuff I've got. We've saved the chair. We've saved the timber shed. I will go and thickness this and things I have to do. Um, might even cut the mortise. I don't know, I'll see how we go. But we can put it together tomorrow, which would be good. And then that's one more job I don't have to worry about, isn't it? All right, so that's it. This is Steve pulling the shed door down. And if I don't buy, it's because I've already logged off because the lag here, I'm just looking at these videos, the lag here is incredible. I could be possibly on my second coffee in the lounge room when you see me say goodbye. So anyway, that's it. This is Steve pulling the shed door down saying thanks for being a part of it. Really appreciate your interest, your input. If you're new to the channel and you'd like to, please hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. And the notification bell so you know when I'm streaming. And you can ring me up and let me know that I'm streaming because I don't know half the time. Ask Nathaniel. He rings me. Are you streaming? Or no. He said, you press the button. <laughs> it happens. Anyway, this is me pulling the shed door down saying remember to keep it sharp and more importantly, keep it safe. Look after yourself, be kind to each other. I look forward to having your company in the workshop or a workshop at a workbench again very, very soon. Until then, take care, look after yourselves and uh, get busy, get crafty, do something. Occupy your hands and your mind. So that's it. God bless. Catch you later. Bye for now.